Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I do appreciate that. Please consider subscribing because it helps me out. And today I will review Cloudpunk. In Cloudpunk you play as Naria, whose job is to pick up and deliver packages all over this neon-soaked city. It's definitely inspired by Blade Runner the movie and the voxel and Minecraftian style of graphics. Looks quite good, although at times it starts to look a bit samey after a while. And only later on, you get to visit other parts of the city that look with, different. Uh, and I yeah, right I have now. to say, it looks I quite nice. There's a nice techno and synthesized soundtrack that accompanies clear, you uh, on your rounds I'm through really the city. Sorry. And it's just fun. It's just hell of a fun to just zip around this vertical build city in your hava. foot things don't look that great you know blocky lego-ish characters and so but again it's not without its charm along the way you meet quite a few inhabitants both human and an android you can talk to these characters flesh okay, out the going ons the in the city quite says, nicely and the, the voice acting is very jazz solid jazz i said goodbye to my new friends the dame flashed me a smile brighter than the sun even the dog wished me good luck no i didn't Camus, wish him luck. Good luck, I guess. The writing is excellent. There's some heartfelt stories in this game. Some mystery, quite a bit of humor as well. Like the time I ran into this gang of androids whose worst crime is that they turn corporate property into playgrounds for kids. It is just fun to interact with NPCs and hear their stories. And it's also rewarding to revisit NPCs they already talked to before just to hear what's new. And this is an interesting mechanic that not a whole lot of games incorporate mostly in rpgs you just exhaust the dialogue you do a quest maybe but it doesn't really reward you for coming back and talking to a character again uh, this game does that quite well and i think this is a feature that could be used in a lot more uh, games and rpgs so in that way i think cloudpunk is just very innovative because it seems like they have their own lives, you know, these NPCs. They just move around and they go about their business and actually give you some feedback, which is just great, you know. Makes the, the whole thing feel alive. Other than that, you know, besides the conversations with NPCs, there's not much else. You can repair and refuel and upgrade your hover a little bit, your, your vehicle that you use to uh, go through the city. Which is nice, and you can find some collectibles. Hello. Oh, you can also uh, upgrade your own little apartment and uh, have a fish tank and like eat some pizza. And just, I don't know, marvel at all the upgrades you can get and go in onto the balcony and just marvel at the city spread before you. It's, yeah, it's relaxing. <laughs> it's, it's unnecessary, but it's fun to have it in the game. That's for sure. Yeah, but that's too. basically it. There so the core me game mechanic, radio, uh, the, the flying around, the delivering of packages, I'm doesn't really delivery change delivery over the course of the game. And some might find that bit a bit tedious after a while, uh, since there isn't thanks. much else to I do, which makes the city feel sometimes a little wasted. But for me, I found this game quite stress-free, quite relaxing, non-violent, so yeah, it's fun to just have a okay. game like that, and I can wholeheartedly recommend it. So thank you guys for watching, and see you next time. <laughs>